Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. I've just upgraded my QGIS to version 3.30 Sertogen Bos. Uh, Sertogen Bos is a city in the Netherlands, the first Dutch city on a splash screen, and that is because we are organizing the QGIS User Conference 2023. And uh, if you want to know more and get tickets, um, just click on the announcement here in QGIS. And uh, it's a great event to meet a lot of people from the QGIS uh, international community. You can do workshops, and you can also stay for the QGIS contributor meeting. But this video is about a change in QGIS with Saga. When you open the processing toolbox in QGIS 3.30, you'll notice that the Saga tools are gone. If I go to plugins, manage and install plugins and search for a Saga, which used to be a core uh, plugin, it shows up in red and it says that the plugin is broken. The reason is that processing provider plugins that need uh, third-party software are no longer maintained uh, by core developers of QGIS, but will have their own plugins. So we need to do some more steps to have uh, Saga available in uh, QGIS. You will have to manually install uh, Saga, and therefore you can go to uh, your setup of your QGIS installation and uh, just follow the wizard. Most of the things you can uh, keep as uh, default. And there, uh, just search for a Saga. It helps to maximize the screen. And uh, in my installation, I already had installed Saga. But if you search for Saga, you can find uh, their uh, Saga version 7.8.2. And uh, you can then uh, use the arrow button to install it. After uh, adding Saga to your installation, you uh, go back to QGIS and install Processing Saga Next Gen Provider. Click Install Plugin. And now you see already that it's added to the processing toolbox as Saga Next Gen. And uh, let's see if it works. I'm going to just uh, fill the sinks with this Saga tool uh, of our DEM. Note that some of the settings are different than uh, in the past, but that's not the point of this video. So I'm just going to fill the DEM and see if that works. And uh, I did a bit of a fast forward, but uh, it all works fine here. But not all the tools work uh, the same as in the past. Some tools might not work, so this is a uh, work in progress. So I've noticed that the upslope area tool to uh, delineate catchments uh, is not working. And uh, therefore you can also look at alternatives like the PC Raster Tools plugin or Whitebox tools, which are also processing providers. So also for these tools, it means that you have to install uh, the software and the plugin. So both. I hope this video uh, was useful. Uh, looking forward to see you next time. 